Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, everybody. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. As you can see, Art and I are with uh, our love and relationship coach, Michelle Fabrega. Good to see you, Ma Michelle. Hi, John. Hi, Art. Hi, Michelle. Um, what, what do you have for us today? Well, glad you asked. So today I want to talk about discovering your kinks. And a lot of people hear the word kink and automatically come up with this, you know, kind of more extreme definition that includes like, you know, BDSM, you know, bondage, domination, sadomasochism. And um, it's, you know, whoa, you know, yeah, no, that's, that's not for that's me. That's pretty kinky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> But actually kink really refers to any sexual activity that falls outside of the types of sex that society traditionally considers acceptable. Or um, maybe so or maybe Michelle outside of what you usually do. Well that yes, right. I like that you pointed that out, John. Right, exactly. And and you know, this can include behaviors and fantasies and concepts and different things. And some of us have heard of like fetishism, where it's like a sexual fixation on a non-living object or a non-genital body part, like, you know, maybe silk or leather or feet or, you know, things like that. So, so obviously kink is a really general term that can really refer to all kinds of things. Yeah. And the reason why I want to talk about it today is that consensual sync, consensual sync, consensual kink sexuality can really heighten the intimacy in a relationship. And I'm, I'm an advocate for that. So especially for couples who've been together a long time, new exploration into kink, either separately, both, you know, separately and together can really turn up the heat. So what, what are some examples of um, uh, maybe not uh, non s and M kinkiness uh, that you think that somebody who might want to explore this might try or might yeah, play yeah. with? Well, there, there, yeah, great question. So basically often we might have certain images or situations or roles that arouse us, you know, the teacher student thing, or, you know, you might've had fantasies, like often when we're coming of age, when our sexuality is kind of, um, you know, really expanding. Some people say that, you know, actually our sexuality is happening all, you know, all the time, even from birth, right? Little kids are touching themselves and discovering, you know, what feels good, but certain, there's certain things that I just invite people to get curious about. I almost don't even want to, you know, suggest anything except that there are tons of, there's a lot of information out there. There are quizzes where you can discover your kink. So, you know, it can be different kinds of, you know, toys that, you know, that you use or, you know, types of clothing or um, there's, you know, um, power kind of differentials where one person is, you know, you know, choosing to, you know, if there's a consensual arrangement here that you create together um, in the kink community where you, you know, decide in advance, you know, what, what are we doing? What are we not doing? What's the safe word in case I uncomfortable and I want to suddenly get out of this situation? You know, if somebody's tied up, for example, or being flogged with a flogger. So there's all kinds of ways to interact with another person this way, but it's, um, it's kind of, the sky's the limit, right? I mean, it's some of it's just up in our head, right? This is supposedly our biggest sex organ is up here. Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm watching a show, um, uh, streaming uh, drama called Billions, and in that show, the one of the main characters and his wife are into S and M, and she's the dominatrix, mm, and he just you. needs he just needs to be flogged and beat. But they they also go to a dominatrix, they you know a paid third right. party to right. supervise their S and M, uh, and it's fascinating because it shows it depicts what you're talking about, which is a consensual agreement between two people, um, and they're or more they're, more than two depending right or, yeah. or in case of three yeah, uh, but they're they're pleasing each other you know one has needs and the other is helping fulfill it. Right, um, and right. that's S and M is probably what I think of as a far out there kind of kinky right. thing. Right, exactly. But you're right. There's all kinds of things that if you're just not used to it, um, it's you. You would call it kinky, but you're, what you're saying is experiment a little bit. 
Exactly, exactly. And, you know, I'll admit for myself, you know, I'm relatively new to it myself. I used to think, oh, you know, I'm not into that stuff. But there's all kinds of like degrees of it. Some people think kink oh, means pain. It's like, you know, some people enjoy that sensation of slapping or spanking or whatever. Some people just like light pets, yeah. you know, whatever. And that, you know, maybe some people like flogging and their skin gets a little pink. Some people like even more extreme things, you know, so you get to decide what level feels good. You get to decide, you know, do you feel comfortable being, you know, do you want to just give up control and not, I, I, I've heard of, um, I, I knew a dominatrix once who basically had a lot of CEO male clients and they were just in their lives so focused on so many things that they wanted to just be in a situation where they, you know, obviously, you know, consensual, but just, I don't want to make any decisions. I just want to be, you know, attended to. I want to be, you know, you know, just submit. And, and it's just, it makes perfect sense, right? We all have different sides of ourselves. Some people like to be like, you know, it's called a switch where you like to be the top person or the, the bottom person. So they're just, like I said, there are lots of resources out there. There are quizzes. And, um, you know, one of the things that's, that there's studies out there, as many as 40% of Americans claim themselves to be kinky. Yeah, that's interesting. 40%, well, then, yeah. And then, well, to the 40% of our audience uh, who's kinky, it's 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 okay. And for the 60% who's not, think about it. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and also, one in four Americans in a relationship have a secret sex act in mind that they might want to try, but they haven't asked their partner. So um, that's, an, I mean, that's not always a kinky thing necessarily, whatever that secret sex, sex act they might have in their mind. But, you know, yeah, I just invite people to uh, get curious, get vulnerable and um, explore. And, and, and share, I think is important. Share with your partner um, your fantasies, your dreams, and, and even if they seem kinky. Yeah, you know? yeah. And there's actually I guess the a partner huge... has to be open to that too. Hmm. Right. Well, even if they're not, you can still do your own exploration. You know, they cannot, they can, you can dress up in what you want to dress up in and you can ask for certain things. Like I want you to, you know, spank me like this or whatever, you know, uh, flog yeah. me, whatever. But, but there's a huge key community out there too. Um, like there's a social media platform called FetLife, which people have, you know, it's like Facebook, but it's for people, you know, who are into kink and it's, a great way to get connected. It's not necessarily sexual. That's the other thing. Some people have these kink relationships. They, they're they not actually, you know, genitals or interacting. Um, it's just the kind of um, energy of it. And um, anyway, check it interesting. out. <laughs> very, a very interesting idea that uh, I guess we all need to be more open, certainly with our partners. Oh, aren't we lucky to have Michelle, who just opens up new worlds for us? So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I have to have fun. I, I have to get a pair of handcuffs now for next time. <laughs> for more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.